Well, welcome to our home, Don. Great to see you. This is uh, my husband, Hi, Victor. Nice to Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, just on that, the first married couple, same sex, in Australian Parliament. Yes, yeah, so I'm the first member of an Australian Parliament in a same sex marriage. But I'll soon be joined by Ian Hunter in South Australia. He's marrying his, his partner in, uh, in Spain at the, in, in December. Uh, don't tell me you've got the classic problem that everybody's got in these sort of buildings a, a balcony that's challenging. It's, it's very challenging. What makes you really nice and relaxing about the apartments? You can look to the park there and Wonderful. see all the green right there. Oh, yeah. And the, I mean, the great thing about the inner city and the greater Potts Point Elizabeth Bay area is, yeah. if you do have a challenging balcony or a challenging garden like like our one, although we really want to improve it, yeah. there are so many great parks and public spaces yes. and so many great community gardens. They're really popping up. So. This is an example of what I was talking about, where we have all these great gardens within the city and they have all different uses. And here's, here's one, which is a, a very popular cafe and restaurant. Vic and I love to come here. Mm. Um, and they've created their own herb garden. Um, they use all the stuff uh, in, in their cooking and in their produce, but it's also really about sort of starting the conversation that in the inner city you can grow produce, we can eat fresh produce here, which is mm. which is produced completely locally. Um, and yeah, it, it's something that, that we find actually really inspiring. Yeah. And this is a smart vertical yeah. garden that you would ever get. Very, very smart. Good big area of clay mix to grow the plants in. Tremendous storage of water, all the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Look at the amount of produce that's being grown. It's there. great. It's a huge variety. There's, you know, they even occasionally use strawberries. Yeah. Take them. Sure. That would be delicious. And so they're virtually putting herbs still wriggling onto your plate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Give the occasional word, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and this would work really well for people at home yep. who are not necessarily in, in city areas. This is a brilliant form of vertical garden. I'm almost guessing for vertical gardens, these could be pallets cut up or something. It's a very I, cheap I, I think it is a pallet. So I think it's a pallet that they've done. And this mm. is obviously old detergent things which have been recycled and cut in half. And, and Don, here comes the man himself. Here's, here's Tim Peterson who, who runs Tim, nice stuff. to meet you. How are you too, Don? G'day, how are you? What a, I'm great. What, what a great idea this is, though. Thank you. you. just feel like you can relax and have a nice night. That's the, that's the idea of it, yeah. It's sort of, it's, it is designed to be a sort of relaxed and, and welcoming space. Um, as well as being functional for the cafe, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's just nice to get back to some farming here in the inner city. And it's great to know that we can do it here. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you have got some community gardens throughout Sydney. We no? do. So there are a lot of community gardens. There's lots in Surrey Hills. There, there's lots in Chippendale. Um, and where we'll go up to the Wayside Chapel next as well, um, they've got a community garden for their community. And it, it really has great therapeutic value to it, it brings everybody together, it gives them something to do and it has a great impact. We brought these huge pots up onto the roof and filled them with potting mix and planted all these plants in here. And we've been learning to nurture them for the last 18 months. That's wonderful. Who, who's the we in the team? Okay, so there's Alan here, he does a lot of the watering. There's probably about in all, maybe 20 people in, involved in coming up and helping out at different times. Some a lot and some just a little bit. Uh, what's the impact uh, of all of this on those helpers? I like it. It's a big involvement from what I had gone through previously. I, I was homeless there for quite a while. I was living on the trains and uh, because of, I've been coming involved up here, I've expanded out. It's expanded into other things as well. So this has given you stability and fun? My word, yes. I enjoy it too. Now the use of the produce, what, what do you do with it? Okay, so we, we love to harvest it for uh, all sorts of uses around Wayside. So lots of uh, the programs here have cooking classes, so living skills programs for the people who are members of the Aboriginal community, people with long-term and persistent mental Particularly the herbs, they're very helpful to have something that's just fresh straight out of the garden. But we also have a low cost cafe here as well, so we use some of the food in that. One of the things about Sydney is we have so many inspiring community groups working together and that's what Wayside is, it brings the whole community together. Yeah. 